Hey guys and welcome back and today we've got a tutorial on how you can make your very own um, virtual reality headset. It's pretty cheap, it costs you less than $10 if you do it right, so it's very affordable and I think it comes out with a very nice effect. What you see on screen is the Durovis Dive. This is the product that I modeled my kind of project after. This product, basically what you do is you put in your iPhone or your Android and you snap it in there, put it on your head, adjust the lenses, and now you've got a virtual reality headset. Virtual reality headsets are great for viewing 3D videos, they're great for playing 3D games, and doing kind of these virtual reality apps which use the phone to actually, every time you look around, it looks like you're actually in the room that you see on your phone. And so it's kind of interesting, it's kind of a neat project. It is cheap, you should be able to get it done in a couple hours, an hour or two. And I'm just gonna go step by step with kind of how I did it. So I started out with a Sterilite um, storage container. It's two and a half quarts, seven and three eighths inches by five and five eighths inches by six inches. So it's a pretty small container. You can pick them up at Walmart. They had it in kind of the food Tupperware section and it has these really nice snaps that snap the lid on and off. So that's the base of what this is. From there, I went to the dollar store and picked up four pairs of um, reading glasses of various strengths. I got, you know, two, two and a half, three, maybe even a one and a half. And I only ended up using three of them, but I got them all just so I could make sure to mix and match to get the exact magnification that I needed. And essentially what you want to do is stack the glasses in a way that you can actually have the proper focal length to have the phone as close as possible to your face and still have it be in focus. You want to make sure that it automatically merges the images when you put it on. Basically you'll see these side-by-side -side images in the apps and if you do it right when you put the headset on all you see is one image and it's 3D so that re works really cool. Um, this is going to take a little bit of experimenting on your part. You're going to have to kind of hold the lenses up to your head, do them at different distances apart, different distances from your phone and then figure out exactly how far that needs to be. Some people have made these so that they are adjustable and you can adjust the lenses after the fact, but for me, I just decided to hot glue them in there at exactly what it works for my vision. Now take off the lid and then on the lid, we're gonna put these two straps of Velcro. I am just hot glued them on there, not a big deal. It takes about five minutes to get this done. Just hot glue these two straps on. That way when you slide your phone in there, it's in there nice and secure and it won't fall out no matter which way you turn the device. Make sure that elastic is plenty tight when you hot glue it on there it shouldn't be any problem. And this is how your phone is gonna be secured in. Now what you'll notice is you can actually snap the lid on and off um, without even having to take the thing off your head. And that allows you to change videos that you're watching or take the phone in and out very easily. The next part is to cut away some of the Tupperware so that it actually fits the shape of your face. You don't want this big square box on your face. You have, you're going to have to cut off the bottom of the Tupperware and then round it out a little bit so that it fits your face. You can add padding. I just added a little bit of some foam. Um, any kind of padding you have would work. Some just cotton towels, some rubber foam tape, any of that stuff will work. I just hot glued some foam on there and that makes it a little bit more comfortable to wear and that just helps it seal your face nicer, nicer and not stab you and that kind of stuff. Lastly, you just put on the straps, again with elastic, which I bought at Walmart for $1 for kind of this variety pack in their craft section. Um, you just put on a couple straps to go around the back of your head with hot glue. You can slip it on, test it out, see how it works, and it should be just fine. I mean, if you've set the focal length of the lenses properly, then this will work right away. There's nothing else to do. That's as simple as it is. You may have to adjust the focal length, however. When you round out that Tupperware for your face, it is actually moving your face closer to the lenses, which then will change that focal length and where it's in focus. So you might need to move those in or out, and you might need to add more or subtract one or whatever it's going to be. I found that you need somewhere between four and eight times magnification to get this to work right um, for this design but that's not too hard to achieve. I did use reading glasses just because they're cheap, they're available, and they're kind of an unknown quantity. They're meant for your eyes and all that. If you go to the Dorovis Dive website, they have lots of apps that are intended for their product that work great with this design. Um, they're basically the exact same design, so it works well on either. And there's lots of free apps for Android, a couple free apps for iPhone. There are, unfortunately, a lot more selection for Android. But these apps are really fun. I've had a great time with it. You can also watch 3D YouTube videos on there, um, depending on how you can figure out how to play 3D. But you will want to be viewing 3D in side-by-side -side mode, which I will show you an example of during this video. Anyways, I just thought I would overview this for you guys. It's not a very hard project. Again, I think it took me 
$3 in Tupperware, $4 in glasses, a dollar in elastic, and a dollar in foam. So, you know, less than 10 bucks, and you get yourself a pretty cool virtual reality headset. Another thing you can do, which I plan to do here in the near future, is spray paint the outside black. That kind of isolates you from the outside world a little bit more, gives you a little bit um, better experience overall, adds a little bit more contrast for the display. And the last thing that I would recommend is maybe making a hole in the side for headphones that come out so you can wear headphones with it, or just use a Bluetooth headset. That's what I use. My Turtle Beach Air Force Deltas that I use for gaming are Bluetooth compatible, and so I wear those connected to my phone over Bluetooth. So I get all the audio through a surround sound headset, and then I get the visuals in this nice 3D kind of virtual reality tool. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, make sure to like, favorite, and subscribe, and I hope you have a great day.